The cost of the fabric is determined by various things in which one of them is type of print. So there are different types of printing like block printing, screen printing, batik, tie and dye, ikkat and bandhani comes under tie and dye and transfer print. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to see five different types of printing. Let's understand our first type of printing that is block printing. This is among one of the oldest method which is handmade. There are various designs curved out on wood or metal blocks. Color is applied on those face of the block. Then it is pressed on fabric or cloths like this and curved print get imprinted on the fabric. Nowadays hand block print is used in decorative designs. Our next point is screen printing. In early days screen printing is done by hand but now we can use machines to do screen printing. Whatever designs or patterns we want is firstly made on screens and that screen is adjusted in wooden case or metal case. Then that case is placed on fabric. Then we take color we want to apply on the cloths. Color penetrates through the cut patterns and get imprinted on the fabric. Whichever color design we want, we apply it on the case which is kept on the fabric. Then that screen design get printed on the cloth and other areas are protected from the dye. The magnifying image of those screens will look like this. Our next type of printing is batik. Batik means wax writing. This is an Indian ancient technique of printing which is appreciated even today. First of all, whatever design we want has to lightly sketch on the cloth. Leaving that area of design, on the other area of melted wax is applied on cloth. When melted wax is dried on the cloth, color is applied on the area wherever design is made. Batik printing looks like this. Tie and dye. Basically, there are two techniques comes under tie and dye. First is bandhani, and second is ikkat. So now we will see about bandhani. Bandhani is mostly used and made in two states of India. First is Rajasthan, second is Gujarat. Bandhani, the word comes from Hindi word bandhan. Bandhan means to tie. In this technique, fabric is tied with strings or rubber band as per the expected design or keeping specific pattern in imagination. The knots of the string or rubber resist the penetration of color. After tying, fabric is dyed in the desired color. Once dye has dried, it is washed in water. The second method which comes under tie and dye is ikkat. Ikkat is also originated in India. In this technique, the design is selected and out of that design, sketch is made. Then, as per the sketch, yarns are measured. Areas where we don't want to color or want different color are protected. Then those protected yarns are dyed in colors. After dyeing, yarns are woven the correct places of design keeping in mind. It is woven so that expected design should come out. Patterns or designs are hazy at the corners or edges which is beauty and characteristics of ikkat. Because it is hand dyed fabric, this process requires more time, energy, effort and skill comparing to other printing. And that's why ikkat printed fabrics are costly. The technique of transferring design from one surface to another is transfer print. Transfer printing is used to print figures, pictures, etc. Heat transfer machine looks like this. And these are the examples of transferred print t-shirts. So ladies and gentlemen, we came to the end of this video but not the series. This is Basaraj Patil, thankfully signing off. Until we meet again.